G'day everyone. Wong Jiga to another Rip Roaring episode. Uncle Joey Jojo here. I have got a myth to, uh, that I have to bust for people and their homes. Quite often we hear about solid boards or solid timber in a house on their cabinets and stuff like that. So let me just talk through a few different bits and pieces here. A manufactured board is a board that's made up of different elements. So it has a veneer face, which can be either a proper raw timber or a manufactured timber. Then the core of it is like, such as MDF, which is a man-made product or plyboard or a few other bits and pieces. A veneer is a very thin piece of timber that's put over the top of a base or what's called a substrate. So this here we've got a hardwood or an Australian hardwood vicash over a substrate of MDF. And you can see the veneer board here is about a, a mil thick. That could also be put over something like this, which is a ply board, and that's lots of pieces of timber together pressed. Another bit of timber that we have is a solid board, which is timber that is 100% timber. There's no ifs or buts about it, there's no glues, there's no laminations or anything else. And you can tell that because the grain is a long grain on the side of the cut or the rip cut and then at the end you can see that it goes with the actual grain of the original tree. And that's a solid board. So that's an E0 product. E0 meaning it holds carbon and it took very little effort or energy to produce that product. Plyboard comes in many different makes. You can get thick, you can get thin. You can get thin, you can get thick. You can get structural ply, you can get face ply. Face ply is ply that you can actually have a feature on the face of it, like a hoop pine or something like that, or a birch. Whereas this is just a ordinary construction ply, which we'd also use for bracing as well. Here we have what's called particle board. Particle board is exactly that. It's made up of particles. And you can see that there's all little pieces of timber. These can also be quite a good byproduct. It can use all of the waste and there's a green tinge through it. You can see a green tinge through it. That green tinge is called WR or water resistant board. So we use that in laundry areas and stuff. And then we've got a small edging piece. You can see a small edging piece along there. And that edging piece then just covers the, the front face or, or that particle. You can also get boards that are completely manufactured. This one here is completely soft on one side, it's textured on the other, and it also has edging the whole way around. Now you can see here that the grain's running this way and the grain on the end runs the opposite direction. That's how we can always tell if timber is edged or if it's something like this and it's an MDF board that's just got a veneer coating over the top of it. Another board that we could use is Bamboo board, I don't know if you've seen bamboo board before, it's very good, it's extremely hardy, super strong. It's got a very good hardness to it and it's super hardy in a laundry area also. You can see bamboo, just to give you a quick rundown, bamboo is not an actual tree, it is a grass. So that's why it's made up of pieces, although Bamboo in itself is extremely unique. Some types of bamboo can grow up to 75 mil or three inches in one day. So it's pretty good and easy to make up. I've got an interview with a bamboo specialist coming up. New on the market these days, a super lightweight, completely manufactured boards. There's no timber in these. They're more of a composite, which is plastic and a bonding compound. Now, these are super lightweight, as I just said, and they're also waterproof. They do not break down. The big thing that I'm concerned about with things like this, with man-made products, MDF, uh, and other bonding agents that are used in our manufactured boards, are they high carcinogenics? You need to be very, very careful. A number of years ago, I had the pleasure of doing an interview with a bloke that had asbestosis, and he was talking to me about never actually being in a place where he was exposed to asbestos, but he used to get into his dad's overalls on a regular basis when his dad came home from work. And his overalls were covered quite often in asbestos and the kid eventually got asbestosis from breathing in that dust. 
I'm a bit concerned that this kind of thing might come afloat as well, where we cut this at work and we don't even think about it. We get into our car, it's on our clothes, it goes into our car, our kids get into our car, and that dust gets into their lungs. We need to be really careful about what we cut, how we cut it, where we're cutting it, the ventilation of where we cut it, and more than anything, which a lot of people don't understand, is the way that the chemicals in this bleach out or leach out into the environment and when they're installed. Some types of formaldehydes and benzene bonding, try and say this six times quickly. Some types of formaldehyde and benzene bonding agents that are in MDF or other manufactured boards can leach out into the atmosphere if they're heated up for up to seven to 10 years after they've been installed which means that that air or that VOC is tainting the air in the surrounding atmosphere. And if we're spending 80% of our lives indoors, it's super duper, super duper duper important that we actually change what we can do now to produce a better healthy environment for whoever lives in that home. If you've got any questions or queries regarding manufactured boards, how we go about manufacturing boards, or just plain, straight, old, lumber or solid timber then please let me know as soon as you can and i'll answer them for you best i can whenever i can thanks for watching and like always stay on real banana peel and i'll see you in the soup